This is Dr. Z, Chief Medical Officer with HSRX. I get asked all the time, what are the side effects of metformin? Well, as a physician who's written for metformin to thousands of patients, I can, tell, I can confidently tell patients that metformin is a very well-tolerated safe drug, probably one of the safest that we have. Uh, we, know, we know a lot about the pro safety profile of metformin, and that's why I love prescribing it. Um, when it comes to side effects, the most common by far is gastrointestinal, stomach issues. Uh, most patients will report uh, loose stools, sometimes diarrhea, stomach cramps, a little bit of nausea. Um, and there, there are many things that can be done to, to either reduce the likelihood of getting these side effects or to, uh, to treat the side effects if they do occur. Um, the first thing is um, I always prescribe extended release unless, unless somebody specifically wants the immediate one. Um, I always tell patients to take it with, uh, with a meal, uh, to, you know, the largest meal of the day if possible, if not really any meal will do. Um, and of course, the most important thing is starting low and going up slow. If st side effects do happen, usually they're temporary. They only last maybe a week, two weeks, but again, it almost always subsides in, in probably 80, 90% of patients who do, get, who do get the side effects. So, so if you do happen to be one of those unlucky, unlucky few that do get the side effects, just stick with it and usually it'll subside on its own. Uh, there, are, there are a few things that I do recommend to patients. I, I typically try to recommend over-the-counter um, remedies first. For example, if you're having uh, you know, diarrhea or loose stools, you could try a little bit of Imodium available over the counter. Uh, if you're having gas or bloating from it, uh, Cymethicone or Gas-X can, can work really well. Uh, if you're having some nausea from it, uh, Ginger Chews, Gingins, those are my favorite. You can pick those up at a health food store or on Amazon. Um, there are some cases where you know, those may not be effective enough, in which case I'll pull out the prescription pad, call in a prescription for a patient. I remember there was a, a young lady who, you know, I think she had some colon issues to begin with, you know, really wanted to try metformin. And so we tried the over-the-counter, didn't, didn't work at first, uh, a combination of Zofran and um, um, Bentil or dicyclamine really did the trick, uh, got the patient over the hump. And uh, after the first two or three weeks of her, her intestines adjusting to the medication, she was able to tolerate it uh, and, and is still on it to this day. So there are a lot of things that can be done. We have a blog, blog article about this that expands on this at AgilesRx. Um, if you have any questions, you can also contact us. This is Dr. Z, Chief Medical Officer, AgilesRx.